Question number three, Materia Turei. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister. It asked, does he stand? Or does the Prime Minister stand by all his statements? Honourable Bill English, on behalf uh, of the Mr. Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, yes, in the context in which they were made. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Materia Turei. Why did the Prime Minister not rule out doing a trade deal with ISIL should ISIL become a state and form a government? Honourable Bill English. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, I'm uh, unaware of such statement. Supplementary question, Materia Turei. Why do beheadings by ISIL mean that the Prime Minister will send troops to fight them but beheadings in Saudi Arabia means he leads a trade delegation there. Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, the Saudi Arabia is a sovereign nation that conducts diplomatic and trade relationships with the whole world, including many developed countries. Uh, ISIL is a, a, a self-declared terrorist organisation uh, that is set out to destroy the nation states which it, which it chooses to try uh, and inhabit and invade. And if the Greens can't tell the difference between ISIL and Saudi Arabia, uh, then it probably would be a good idea to do a bit more homework. Su order. Supplementary question, Materia Ture. Thank you, Mr Speaker. When the Prime Minister said, and I quote, New Zealand is not going to turn the other way. We're actually going to stand up for human rights, end quote. Is that consistent with sending a trade delegation to a country where women cannot leave the house without a male relative, cannot drive and cannot vote in the elections? Honourable Bill English on behalf of the Prime Minister. Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, yes it is. New Zealand chooses to trade with a number of countries who have different views about human rights than we do. Uh, in fact, it's the case that when you read the UN reports on human rights in New Zealand, we probably wouldn't trade with ourselves if we felt that uh, we were going to adopt a pure, a pure standard of uh, moral high ground. Uh, in the case of, say, China and Indonesia, uh, particularly in Indonesia, where there is a very topical issue right now, uh, it's our view that continuing to conduct relationships with these countries and trade with them is more likely to have an impact on their human rights views than having nothing to do with them. Supplementary question, Materia Turei. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Does the Prime Minister still believe that it is acceptable for governments to lash women for being <coughs> raped and behead people for being homosexual because, quote, they are taking it against their own citizens, end quote? Uh, the, uh, the Honourable Bill English on behalf of the Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, of course it's not acceptable and trading with them is not an endorsement of the uh, criminal punishment system in Saudi Arabia. Supplementary question, Materia Turei. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Does the Prime Minister consider the lashing of rape, vi rape victims to be a gross human rights violation or, to quote him, a human rights discrepancy? Honourable Bill English. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, the Greens will eventually, I think, learn you can influence people without lecturing them. Of course, it is, of course the Prime Minister is going to Saudi Arabia to, cons to uh, carry out constructive discussions about securing a trade agreement, uh, which will help to lift income in incomes in New Zealand, deal with some of the poverty problems that the Greens uh, consistently point out. We have the opportunity to raise human rights issue with, issues with the Saudi Arabian government consistently uh, through ongoing dialogue, as we do in a formal way with the Chinese government and others. Uh, and the Prime Minister, of course, is going to conduct himself appropriately to achieve what's in the best interests of New Zealand, as well as influencing the Saudi Arabian government. Although I'd have to say, uh, and I, I'd have to say, it's unlikely that views he holds about the issues the member raises are going to lead to significant change in the Saudi culture. Point of order, sir. That was an answer to a question, order, but order, not to mine. Order. I listened very carefully to the question and to the answer. The answer. The question has been addressed. Supplementary. 
supplementary, supplementary question, but to you, to right. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Will the Prime Minister live our values on the international stage and delay signing a free trade agreement with Saudi Arabia until they commit to meeting their own obligations under the human rights conventions that they have signed, such as the Convention Against Torture and the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women? Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, no, he won't be following the Greens' advice on this. Uh, if we were to pursue that course of action, we would um, have a great deal fewer uh, free trade agreements than we have. As I've said, it is New Zealand's, part of New Zealand's values is actually that we talk to people uh, and that if we continue to trade with them, we may be able to influence them more than if, as a small country at the end of the world, we decide to have nothing to do with them. Question number four, Dr Jan Yang.